any versus SE attraction. Any attraction is very different from SE attraction because I was talking to this one ETP and she was like, well, you know, there are certain attractions between the genders, for example, for men and women that can both utilize it regardless of gender, regardless of personality. I, I think there's definitely a difference between any SI people and SE and I, a biscuit attraction. Being hot is more like an SE thing, right? Or sexy is more of an SE. While like alluring and I guess maybe fem feminine, submissive and alluring, seductive, I guess that's the right word. You know, the, the desire to desire, I suppose. I don't know what the word for that is. Desirable. That's something that any has. It's, it's a very interesting dynamic and I really want to go into it more and see if there's any information on it because I'll just explain it in a personal account, I guess. Like, well, <laughs> let's say I'm a pretty good looking guy and I understand that and I, when I see other, how do I put it? When I see other ITJs or ESFPs, right? Like Wayfarers mostly. Like how they look, they have a very SE beauty, right? It's very symmetrical. It's very, you know, they're tall. They have the objective values that make somebody attractive, quote unquote, but it's a different type of attraction, right? Like so those people are hot. Those people are sexy. Those people are models, right? Like at a model, well, I didn't even realize this until recently. A model is literally just, oh, a, a basic sketch what a, what a human should be like, like an ideal human should be like, right? In terms of shape. But something about any attraction or any SI attraction is different in a sense that they, maybe they're not the best looking in terms of having like an objective, you know, SE hotness or expression. It's more like maybe they have a sort of cuteness, a certain uniqueness to them, right? I don't want to sound cringy with this, like, oh, it's all our personality. It's like, no, no, it's it's still in their, in their face, right? Maybe they have like a certain, well, I, I noticed this in any users. Most any users have like very open eyes, right? Like very, uh, almost like puppy-like eyes. And NI users, especially NTJs, because I have them, have like very penetrating, very intense eyes, right? That, that penetrate fully into those any eyes and they can look basically in, in their soul. That's when, you know, that's why when you any hero or any parent sees an INTJ or an ETJ or something like that, or just an NI hero or NI parent, like stare at them directly and intently, they get very intimidated, right? Because it's like they're seeing their full nakedness. They're, but it's like they're naked when they're watching like that, right? But they're only looking at their, at their eyes. And that's a very interesting attraction to it, right? Are like bigger eyes in that sense, like puppy eyes, are those necessarily more attractive for, for for females, for example, is that true? And also for men, because sometimes I see the men, it's also kind of attractive, right? Or they have a certain more feminine appearance to them. It's not necessarily because maybe they have a more round face, right? But that's not like the, you know, the INTJ sharp features, like proper nose, not a nice jawline structure, all that that you even see in female models right now. It's it's a different like round, there's a roundness to it. There's an openness to it. There's a certain maybe na naivete to it, right? Maybe the childlike feature, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it, you know what I mean, right? Like a very innocent, cute, adorable look. That's what I mean. Not like to, not to make this all fucking weird. You know what I mean, right? It's like, uh, you know, my, my best example is something like Luna Lovegood, right? In terms of an archetype, not, not in terms of it being a fucking young child, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I hate that I have to preface it in this day and age. It's retarded. You know what I mean? Like that, that pure innocence to the world. And, and that's something somebody like me really focus into. It's like, that that's the person, right? That person with those cute features. I still like beauty, right? I still like a good body. I still like, you know, if somebody's healthy, I'm still a man, but it's a different type of attraction. Sometimes uh, MPs will ask me like, oh, well, how, I, how, how could I be more attractive to people? And for SE women, that's very easy, right? In terms of like, oh, just wear makeup, you know, lose some weight and, and you know, SI inferiors will flock to you. That's no problem. But for any user, it's kind of different, right? It's like, well, you, you have to just basically stand out in a way, look very tolerable, agreeable in your, just in your appearance, right? In your clothing, very elegant. Like if I see an elegantly dressed woman just standing by herself and she's looking just all around her room very innocently, like smiling and all that stuff, I'm instantly going into that, especially if so those like naive any eyes, I'm instantly going on. I initiate it, right? Because that's the difference or like the difficulty is that NI users, especially NI user men, should initiate with their NI user women. That's just how it is. And frankly, you know, they prefer it and they like it. And also the any user likes it because it's like, oh, this person really wants me. And like, uh, you know, if it's a crusader, oh, he really values me. And like, he thinks I'm, I'm well, he thinks, well, kind of depends on the crusader, but like he thinks I'm great and all that. And uh, he wants to give me a comfortable experience and he's so ambitious and I'm like, I'm going to so right now. Oh my God, he's seducing me. I, that's kind of their, their mindset, right? Um. <laughs> At least that's how it goes with me usually. But yeah, that's an interesting, interesting distinction. So I, I wanted to discuss that a little bit. I don't know. Let me let me know about that in the in the comments if you actually observe that difference.